Nelson Mandela. Mm -hmm. um, what most impressed you about him? Uh, first of all, his humility, but the most important thing is love. That's the thing. First time I met him, he wasn't president. I went up to his office and he requested that to meet me, which was a great honor. And uh, he said, I have asked you to come and see me because when I was in jail, you in Cape Town said that they should release me. And he said, which I appreciated. And he said, I am aware that you sponsored all these black golfers to go overseas, which I appreciate. And he said, I am now going to rule the country and bring everybody together. I want people who've left South Africa to come back home, which not, some did, some did. And I said, but surely you must hate the white. He sat in jail for 20 years, man. And you had a house arrest for five, whatever it was. And he said, Gary, you see this green apple here? He said, that green apple is green on the outside and ripe on the inside. It's juicy. If I have hatred and non-forgiveness in my heart, I will be the green apple on the outside, but rotten on the inside. And he says, I don't have a long time to live. I want to have pleasant thoughts. I want to be juicy and sweet. And he says, God forgives. Who am I not to forgive? If we want to go ahead, can we live with bitterness and hatred? Nothing exists permanently with any success on hatred and bitterness. And he said, my job is to bring people together, and this must never, ever happen again. But there's now talk with young militants, take the farms away from the South African farmers, nationalize the mines, nationalize this, the banks. National well, it's never been a success. It's never been a success. Why do they want to go back and break down everything that Mandela stood for? We, the world suddenly hated us, and now the world suddenly loved us through one man. It's really, it's been a, an interesting existence for me to live through these different eras to see what's happened. Uh, the Golf uh, Digest in 2000 had reached out to, you know, then uh, President Mandela uh, to see if, you know, he, he wanted to write up a little something on you, and he ended up writing up a, a pretty, uh, you know, big tribute to you. And, what an uh, honor, what an honor. It, it must have been in the end of it, uh, he, he said, and I quote, uh, Mr. Player also was voted one of the top five most influential people in our nation's history. His accomplishments as a humanitarian and statesman are equal to and may even surpass his accomplishments as an athlete. That is a legacy that will last forever. Yeah, and I tell you. What did that mean to uh, you? Oh, uh, that meant a world to me.